Hello, this video takes a very quick look at five different things you can do with spectral layers, ranging from repair and restore operations, all the way up to AI-assisted unmixing processes and original sound design work. We'll begin with a basic repair work task. Listen to this harp sound. The defect is clearly visible, and we can fix it using the eraser tool. Calibrate the tool in the same way you'd calibrate the brush in a digital art program, and then simply draw over the defects. Okay, here's the result. Okay, now let's try actually replacing a sound in the course of our repair work. Listen to this cello section. It's easy to see the problem. I'll fix it using the Clone Stamp tool. Select the tool and then go up and activate the Pick Source mode. Now, pick the clone source by clicking on it. Then, just draw over the defect to insert the clone. And here's the result. Easy fix. Let's move on to unmixing. Here, I have an excerpt from a dub track by German artist Ocam. Open the door, she was sitting on the divan. Her eyes were wide open. She was staring at nothing. Okay, let's run the unmixed stems process on it. Go to the layer menu and select unmixed stems. Now here, I'm just going to accept the default settings and click through the dialogue. I'll solo the vocal layer. When I opened the door, she was sitting on the divan. Her eyes were wide open. She was staring at nothing. The piano layer comes up empty because there's no piano. Drums layer sounds like this. And here we have the bass layer. The layer called Other contains all the textures. Now we can turn our attention to the refinements, and this is where Spectral Layers really dominates. It's all about picking up where the algorithms leave off in order to get the best possible edit. Here's one way to refine the vocals. First, I'm going to drag the layer called Other so that it rests right beneath the vocals layer. I'll solo the vocals layer and play it again. When I opened the door, she was sitting on the divan. Her eyes were wide open. She was staring at nothing. Okay, now I have the vocals layer selected, and I'm making a selection using the Time Range Selection tool. I can transfer this selection to the layer below by performing Edit, Cut, Special, Cut to Layer Below. When I opened the door, she was sitting on the divan. Here I'm making a series of selections to transfer to the layer below. And as you can see, I'm applying a fade to the selection boundaries so that the voice cuts off smoothly and not abruptly. When I opened the door, she was sitting on the divan. Her eyes were wide open. She was staring at nothing. The sounds that we move to the layer called Other make this layer richer, and you can move material from this layer to any other layer simply by repositioning layers. The cool thing is that no data is lost, ever. Okay, the last topic today addresses the creative side, and this might be the best time to remind you that ARA integration with Cubase and Nuendo is an extremely useful pathway to creative empowerment. Now, listen to this drum and bass loop. Here I'm opening the loop in Spectral Layers in ARA mode, and then running the Unmix Components process on it. After processing, I can drag the new Tonal, Transient, and Noise layers directly into the Cubase Arrange window. Let's listen. Here's the Tonal layer. Transient layer. And the Noise layer. This level of program integration has vast potential for creative sound design, remixing, and reimagining music and sound. Check out all the Spectral Layers tutorials and freeform live sessions on the Steinberg YouTube channel. 
and discover how this application can transform your workflow in truly extraordinary ways. Thanks for watching this video. SpectraLayers Pro 9 delivers new levels of speed, precision, power, and control. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinberg channel.